Hi guys, Dr. Nathan Thompson here, author of Transformation 28 and clinic director here at Exemplify Health Center. And if you suffer with chronic neck pain, back pain, or any kind of disc pain, or maybe you have an issue with a disc bulge or herniation, I wanna give you some tips that will help you find some causes so you can start getting relief without taking medications. Listen, no one is super excited about constantly having to take NSAIDs or prescription drugs for pain, and for good reason. You know, depending on the drug, they can produce intestinal bleeding or have a really high risk for dependence, or they can increase risk for heart attack and stroke. But I get it. No one likes to live with chronic pain because I've been there too, and it is absolutely no fun. And chronic pain and disc issues are 100% linked to inflammation. So the goal should be to find out what's causing the inflammation to correct it and then allow the body to be able to heal. So here are four really big areas that you need to address right now. Number one is proper motion. Proper motion is key, because you know this, if you've ever broken a bone and had to wear a cask, you notice that that joint was really stiff and painful after you got the cast off. So you need proper motion in the neck and the lower part of the back to be able to get these areas to receive the right nutrients in the joints or in the discs. Number two is gonna be alignment. So just like a car with a wheel out of alignment, the joints are gonna wear down quicker if they're not equally aligned. And it will happen even faster if it's not equally aligned and you're doing high impact exercises. Number three is inflammatory foods. So foods that create inflammation will really stress the weakest areas in the body. And that's why food allergy testing is important because it can pinpoint which foods you're reacting to. And everyone is unique and different, but I found that a lot of people create inflammation from casein, for example, which is the protein that's found in milk and dairy. And number four is mental stress. So lack of sleep or chronic stress will produce higher levels of cortisol, which is a stress hormone that can rob your body of vital nutrients that help your body repair and heal connective tissue like your muscles, your ligaments, your tendons, and your discs. And this is why chronic stress can not only affect your joints, but it can also cause accelerated aging of the skin. So where on earth do you start? You start by testing. So number one, you get an X-ray, specifically motion X-rays to see what's working and then what's not working. Number two, start addressing inflammation, and you can start by actually addressing the foods you're eating or the foods that you're creating an immune system reaction to, like food allergy testing. Now, number three, get your stress response under control. I know it's easier said than done, right? But there are certain supplements like California poppy or turmeric or high dose omega-3 fatty acids that'll help you with the stress and also help calm the inflammation while you start working on some of the causes. Hey, you have a question, send me a message, leave a comment, or you can get registered for our next inflammation talk. And I'll show you how we walk each person through the proper testing and coaching to help you start living pain-free. We'll see you soon.